Welcome to How to Tune Pianos, the Hobby, Skill, and Career of Piano Tuning. I'm Mark Serrazano, Registered Piano Technician, and in this lesson podcast, I'm going to describe what beats are. So, we're going to talk about what are beats. Before we do that, we're going to have to discuss the term frequency and describe that. Musical notes are produced by different instruments, and these instruments have a cyclical periodic vibration of some elastic material. For example, a guitar has a string that vibrates, pianos have strings, violins have strings, there's a reed in the saxophone, the air blown across a flute hole will vibrate, the skin of a drum vibrates, and the voice has the larynx which vibrates. These vibrations have frequency measured in hertz, which is cycles per second. That is, the elastic material will move back and forth so many times per second. For example, A above middle C on the piano is referred to as standard or concert pitch if it vibrates at 440 cycles per second, often called A440. Human hearing is approximately 20 hertz to 20,000 hertz. We can hear notes as low as 20 times per second, vibrating at 20 times per second, and as high as 20,000 times per second, roughly. It's an approximation, of course, as the older you get, the harder it is to hear those higher notes. We can show frequency as a plot of the amplitude or volume versus the time. This next slide, you will see a, a, an oscilloscope type graph that will react to me whistling. You notice how the peaks uh, got uh, higher as the note got louder, and they also got closer together as the pitch got higher. The higher pitch means that the frequency is higher, and th the peaks happen more within a second. There's more peaks that happen within one unit of time. That's why we saw more peaks for a higher frequency. When something vibrates, it pushes on the molecules of air around the source of that vibration, creating a chain reaction that makes a path like ripples from a stone dropped in a pool from the sound source to our ears. You see the waves moving away from the source of the sound. Obviously it happens a lot faster in air and with sound. What about when two notes are sounded that have the same frequency? Initially, I thought that what would happen is the note would just be louder, but it turns out that if these two notes have exactly the same frequency, then the peaks of the sound wave, if they line up, will cause more motion to the air molecules, resulting in an increase in loudness, but sometimes the peaks of the wave will line up with the valleys of the other wave and that will cause a subtraction of energy and a perceived decrease in the loudness of sound. In this next slide I'm going to have a, two computer tones generated and each time I start the second tone sometimes it will start so that the peaks line up and you'll hear a louder sound and sometimes the peaks line up with a valley of the next sound and it results in a quieter sound. Before that slide, I'm just showing you graphically what's happening here. On the left, you see the two notes where their peaks line up and the resultant below those two graphs is the same graph with larger peaks and valleys. Whereas on the right, you can see that the top note, note one on the right, its peak lines up with note two's valley. So when you add them together, they cancel out, and the result is a smaller wave 
the same frequency but much less amplitude, in other words, quieter. This is sometimes referred to as noise cancellation. In this slide, you're going to hear the tones generated by the computer of 440 hertz, but the second tone, when it started, will sometimes line up and uh, peak against peak and sometimes line up peak against valley. And you will hear, as each note is started, a louder sound or a quieter sound, depending on whether the f notes and frequencies are in phase, peaks lining up with peaks, or out of phase, where the peaks line up with the valleys. Now, if the two notes that are sounded are close but not the same frequency, what happens? Well, beats are produced. What are beats? In this video, my hands are going to represent a vibrating string or medium. So one string, one hand will represent one string, and that's the string vibrating. If you bring another string in and vibrate at exactly the same speed, the sound is just louder. Or but softer. If one is slightly off, uh, slower for example, then eventually you get to the point where one string is pushing and the other is pulling on the air molecules, which results in quietness. And then when they go back into phase, we get a loudness. And then when they go out of phase, there's a quietness. And then when they go back into phase, there's a loudness, and so on and so forth. You get this quietness, loudness, quietness, loudness, and that's what the beats are. So this alternating loud, soft, loud, soft pattern is called a beat, and it indicates an out-of-tune unison. Some important points to note about this are that the faster the beat, the farther away the frequencies are. As the frequencies get closer to each other, the beat slows down. And in fact, when the two frequencies are exactly the same, the beat disappears. So for piano tuning, and when, when we're tuning unisons or even intervals, if we hear a fast beat, that means it's more out of tune. If the beat slows down, that means the unison is becoming more in tune or closer to being in tune. Listen as this uh, we show this on the uh, computer tones. The speed of the beat is the difference of the frequencies. Here's a beat of four hertz, a beat of eight hertz. Seven hertz, often used in piano tuning. We're getting closer to 440 and therefore slowing down. Two hertz with a sharp and a flat note, both two hertz. And as this note is getting flatter, the beats are getting faster. Almost in tune, one hertz, and finally in tune, 440 hertz. Listen as I tune this unison and then make it go out of tune so that you can listen so you can hear the beats that are produced. Unison in tune. slightly out of tune. 
slow beats. More out of tune. Faster beats. I made the string flat. I'm going to make it sharp now. Same beating. In tune. The string is slightly sharp. Slow beating. Very sharp. Fast beating. In tune, no beating. The important ideas to remember about beats are that when you have beats, it means that the two frequencies are not the same. Faster beating means the unison frequencies are far apart. The slower the beats are, the closer those frequencies are to each other. And when the beats disappear, then the frequencies are the same. Beats are only heard at unison frequencies that are close but not the same, even when hearing beats within other musical intervals. In other words, when we play intervals that beat, they are not beating because the interval notes are beating with each other. It has to do with the unisons that are found within that interval. In order for to, us to understand this concept, we need to talk about coincidental partials and the harmonic series. This will be the topic of another video lesson. Thanks very much for watching What Are Beats? I'm Mark Serrazano, registered piano technician for How to Tune Pianos, the hobby, skill, and career of piano tuning. Stay tuned for more great lessons on howtotunepianos.com.